I'm Nathan Delcamp with Foreign Doors and Access Control. Welcome back to Door Talk. Hey, welcome back to Door Talk. On the program again today, I have Mr. Bill Butler and uh, Mr. Terry Crump, again from Butler's Door, Butler, Butler Doors Incorporated. I can't say it today, but uh, welcome back, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Um, so last last week, we uh, we told you a little bit about their, their uh, company and what they can offer uh, as far as wholesale wood doors and uh, quick shit wood doors. If you get find yourself in a pinch, you need a door quick, they can do it for you. Uh, so on today's program, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the types of doors that they stock, uh, the brand, uh, their vendor, and uh, may, maybe some possible options that um, they can offer for finishing, for for staining, you know, whatever whatever else they might be able to offer in that that realm of quick shit. So, um, Bill, why don't you tell us a little bit about the uh, the company that you guys use um, to stock your wood doors? I know you said you don't manufacture them, but uh, what is the company that you guys use um, to provide your your wood doors? Yeah, Matt, we uh, we have uh, the ability to purchase from a few vendors, but uh, clearly we have a primary vendor, and that's Streco Doors uh, out of Abbotsford, Wisconsin. Uh, kind of a, 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 a same like company, a smaller owner-operated uh, vent, uh, manufacturer up there in the center of Wisconsin, where obviously. Uh, Masonites right up the road, and uh, Wisconsin's kind of been the uh, the uh, uh, the heartbeat of wood doors for many years, you know. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, and we we got together with Streco back in 2004. They were just starting up, and uh, it's really been a great uh, uh, relationship for us. It came at a time when we were looking around uh, uh, from vendors different vendors who could give us, you know, the, the most uh, product mix. And uh, it's really, it's really worked well. They, they make, they make, you know, by, by any objective standard, they make as good a, a architectural wood door as anybody. Uh, we wow. feel fortunate to have them because we know we don't have to, you know, take a second, you know, we, it's, 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 it's quality. It's kind of what we talked about previously about what we wanted to convey as Butler doors and, uh, we're we're very comfortable with the door uh, that we sell from Streco. So quality and consistency is a big a big push for them, I guess, as well as for you guys. Um, so, you know, as far as their wood doors, I mean, I guess they offer, like you said, pretty much everything. What about like when you start getting into fire ratings and different things like that? Do they offer options for fire ratings as well? Fire ratings up up to and including ninety minute and. Uh, most of the procedures uh, were approved to do. Uh, there's nothing, nothing we wouldn't take on. Uh, you know, we see things with the hardware changing, uh, especially electronic hardware now. Yeah, change all the time. So we're 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 willing to dive in there and get our customer what they need and when they need it. Uh, any, like I said, any fire rating up to 90 minutes. So, yeah. Well, perfect. Yeah. So, yeah, that kind of brings me right into my next question. So, as far as hardware templates, um, do you guys, I guess y'all will prep pretty much anything as long as you have a provided template or already, ha already have a template on hand, correct? In most cases, and uh, okay. like I said, with, with the changes in the hardware, it's, it's uh, daily almost, you know, with the advancements in some of the electronic hardware specifically and radio frequency, that type of thing. Uh, we're liable to see, we never know what we're going to see when we come into work in the morning, what, yeah. what we're going to be asked to do. But uh, yeah. we'll, certainly, we'll certainly take it on. And uh, if it's a bad application, we'll try to tell the customer that maybe they need to rethink something or. Yeah, there's a conflict here or something. Yeah. Yeah, right. I mean, as far as, as far as hardware, I mean, we'll really, Pretty much take on anything except maybe a concealed vertical rod device which really 
should be done at the manufacturing uh, level because of you know that, that uh, channel that's being created in the door. It's really hard to replicate that and again have have a door with integrity if you're going to plow out all that wood after the fact. But but raceways and any exit devices and uh, rabbited transoms, uh, you know, anything like that, we're we're very comfortable in in tackling special sizes. As Terry said, taking a taking a three o door and making it a three foot seven, you know, uh, for whatever reason, there's there's That's a tricky one, but yeah, yeah, <laughs> a four o door, <laughs> four o door to make a three. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. <laughs> Uh, four o, a four o, yeah, say, yeah. If well, we new technology exists, <laughs> no, no. If if we figure that out, Matt, we we really got it figured out. Yeah, four yeah. o taken down to a three seven. Yeah. Is that a new growth hormone that's in the wood that just? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's. Hey, I'm telling you that right there is uh, that would be incredible. But and that's good to know because a lot of people, you know, I can't tell you how many times you know we had we used we had a guy here that was that was with us for many years that could that could handle that, that type of work. And, um, you know, well, of course we got guys down there now that can do that, but, you know, re restyling and re the edge of a door, that's not a simple feat for somebody. So to have a company that can do that and do it in a timely manner is, is, is really fortunate in that regard. Um, so as far as, you know, modifications, you guys can pretty much do anything. I'm assuming the same way with light kits and louvers and stuff, you can add anything to any door. Uh, so let's talk about custom finishing capabilities because I know, um, you, you know, you got wood door, these wood door manufacturers, they have these custom finishing machines and, you know, it's all a process, an automated process with them. And it's just, you know, it's a, it's a process. So I know that you guys may not have that capability, but you still have the capability to finish doors, correct? Correct. Yes, that's right. And 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 certainly we don't have all the uh, high tech uh, 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 flatline systems that the manufacturers have. We kind of do it the old fashioned way with this with a spray booth, but utilizing the the latest technology and and environmental uh, uh, stuff that's available for finishes and top coats and and the like. Uh, we really got into that, Matt, kind of full bore 2012. We, we kind of dabbled in it before then. And it was kind of for two reasons. Uh, number one, uh, you know, environmentally, there was less, uh, more and more uh, saying we don't want people feel finishing, you know, just out in, out in the open finishing. And yeah. uh, all that goes with that. And then the second thing is was the the uh, the the lack of uh, people with the skills to do that. Uh, I like to say, uh, maybe I'm you'll see it. I'm over speaking, but a, a painter on a job is not a finisher. Mm -hmm. They're 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 two different things. Uh, we think there's a there's there's artist there's actually some artistry to the finishing. Yeah. And uh, and so you know and and obviously there's labor with the sanding and everything but uh we got into it and really it's been a real help to our business because again um uh, you know that the, the, they want finished factory like finished doors and that's yeah. what we try to provide and we have to we, so our quality of our doors have to be really uh spot on because you know it, one of our doors may be sitting right next to something from straight from the manufacturer so it has well, to yeah, and that and that's a big important thing. I, I know, like I said, you know, it's it's one of those things. Anybody can spray a door or roll on a finish, you know, uh, but to make it feel like a factory finish and make it feel like glass when it's done, but not look like glass, you know, with a high high gloss finish and just a satin finish, that's that's hard to achieve for somebody that doesn't have the skills to do it. I mean, there there again, anybody can spray a finish on anything. But what does it feel like afterwards? You know, what does it look like? Is it blotchy? Is it is there orange peel? What you know, what does it look like? So in the realm of, of finishing doors, what I've learned, and I'm sure you guys have as well, it, to me it's more similar in to automotive finishing as far as you know the prep and the 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 time frame needed to do this more so than it would be painting a house. So um I I think you bring up some good points there and uh to have people that are skilled to do that in the 
and the safety of a paint booth and a protected area to not allow trash to get in is is something that's huge. So, so Terry, tell share with them. You know, the other thing that kind of spurred us to this is, you know, we'd get these phone calls or emails and say, "Hey, look at these doors. The the, the customers complaining. We sent them out bad veneers." I think we might. I don't know. We did might have lost Terry there. Did he freeze up? Uh oh. Well, he looks happy at least. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, let me let me let me share that for you. So basically, we would get these emails or, and say, "Take a look," and and immediately you could tell that it had been it hadn't been sanded. And and right. anybody who's finished wood knows that you have to sand the the door to to raise that grain to accept the stain. Otherwise, it's going to be blotchy. Right. And, uh, so that kind of spurred us on to say, you know, hey, we're, we, now we could talk to a customer when they ordered some maple doors, which, you know, maples, uh, because it's a, it's a closed grain hardwood, is always a little bit harder to do. You got to really uh, do some sanding. Uh, and uh, to say to the customer, hey, you're ordering these uh, eight maple doors from us. Let us finish them also. Yeah, right. And that, right. Was, and that was the impetus to, to really get us uh, going back there in 2012. Well, and that's that's a good thing. And knowing that you guys can do that is huge, you know, because I can't tell you how many uh, manufacturers, I mean, not manufacturers, but distributors would, would need that option because let's face it, you get in a pinch or one of your guys or one of our guys hits hits the edge of a door with a forklift or one of our installers, you know, puts preps the wrong hardware on one of the doors. Stuff happens, you know, and yes, people are going to make mistakes and um, it's good to have an option and for lack of a better term, a, a, a bailout solution, you know? Well, and the, and the other key thing is, and again, not to pile on manufacturers, manufacturers are really not geared for that. Like when, you know, when you order a job from them, say 50 doors, and like you said, and two doors get damaged, they're not geared to replace those two doors in a, in a timely manner quickly. Right. So now you got to jump into it and say, all right, and 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 hopefully it's a veneer we have or you know that that's available. But now 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 the uh, customer, the distributor has has a solution. You know they can say to the to the to their customer, the the contractor and and user, hey, uh, we can replace. We can yeah, we no problem. You know we we right. got a, we got a solution to this. Right. Well, Bill, I say we end it right there so we can uh, hop off of here and see if we can get Terry reconnected <laughs> the, for the next episode. But uh, Bill, Terry, thank you for being here today. And uh, we will see you guys on the next show. Uh, and if you need more information um, for Butler Doors Incorporated, we will have a link uh, on the Door Talk website. So go find it there. Or uh, I'm sure you can get in contact with them and they'd love to hear from you. So um, have a great day. And we'll see you next time.